Toggle Track Tutorial How to use Toggle Track step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can get started with Toggle Track. So let's get into it. Now, what exactly is Toggle Track? Well, Toggle Track is an online free to use platform that enables you to track times of all of your business meetings with all of your employees and make sure that you are able to bill your employees or, you know, create invoices accurately. Now, this can be such a lifesaver when you are working online because you want to make sure that you're increasing productivity and making sure that you are able to manage your workload and distribute your uh, revenues effectively so you guys can see that toggle track is a super popular application they have multiple different use cases such as employee time tracking billing and invoicing project budgeting reporting as well as creating your payroll you also have multiple different industries that you can use it in and you can see that they have a bunch of different amazing integrations that will help you in making sure that your toggle track can really make sure that you are able to pay all of your employees and manage the budget that you have for given projects so to get started let's take a look at the pricing plan so as i told you guys toggle track is available for free for up to five users working together you have unlimited free time tracking, unlimited project client and tags that you can create, as well as exportable reports, automated time tracking tickers, idle time detection. You also have Pomodoro timers, which basically allow you to track when people are actually working. Then you also have desktop activity tracking, as well as tracking time in over a hundred popular tools. Then you have the starter version starting at $9 per user per month, where you have everything that I previously mentioned. Plus, you can manage your billable rates, so you can basically automate your entire billing and invoicing process by adding the per hour rate. So, for example, if I'm, you know, tracking employee timings, so I can just put in like this person makes $10 an hour and then it will automatically start adding that up and providing me with a summary of how much how much work they have input and how much time they spent and what the total for that time is. You also have uh, favorite time entries. Uh, you also have project line estimate, tasks, pre-populated project templates, as well as multiple calendars that you can connect. Then on the starter version, starting at $18, you have everything previously mentioned, and you can also have fixed fee projects, client archives, scheduled save reports, time tracking audits, project forecast, centralized control, lock time entries, and required fields for time entries as well. So let's get into using Toggle Track. So to get started, simply head on over to toggle.com. Once you head on over to toggle.com, you can click on try for free on the top right, and you can even get a 14 day free trial of the premium version of Toggle Track absolutely for free. You don't have to provide your credit card information or anything. But let's just continue on with Google over here. You can choose to sign up with your email address as well, but we're just gonna continue on. So as you guys can see, this is what your toggle track will look like, and it's going to basically provide you with a overall summary. So first off, I'm just going to close this up. And as you guys can see on the left side, you have a navigation panel and you have your workspace. You can click on manage workspaces and create your own organization. Obviously, I have just have my organization under the name that my account is in. But what you can do is you can click on teams over here and you can add multiple different people in your team. You can create groups in your team. For example, this is good for building your employee hierarchy. So let's say you have managers, you have day workers, night shift workers, maybe you have sub levels and that. So you can create groups for that and then that can help you in managing your employees as well. Then you have your basic settings and your subscription plan information. Now from the top left, let's go ahead and view all of the categories that you have. So first off, you have your organization at the bottom, but at the top, you will have your time tracker. Time tracking is their primary feature. So what you can do is that whatever uh, tasks that you have, reports that you have, you can enter on the top. So you can just text, uh, you know, type in any text for what you're working on. Let's say I'm working on social media management. I can just turn this on. I have the current date and then all I have to do is that I can just click on the top right over here and start time entry. Now this will start monitoring the time and I can get started with working. 
and it will just put in the time. Once I've completed my work, I can just pause it or stop it, and that is it. The new time entry will be added to my time tracker. Now, you guys can see on the top, you have add project, client, or task. So instead of having to, uh, you know, type in whatever you uh, are working on, you can just select a specific project or task that you are working on. Just select that and then just get started with that. And that's all you have to do. So that can be a lot simpler when you are, you know, doing work all the time because you don't want to have to type in every single thing that you are doing. Now, on the right, you also have tags and filters. Tags and filters can be a great way for you to make sure that your time tracking is accurate to the specific task that you're doing if you're only labeling via a project. Now, moving on to the next section. Over here, you guys will see your tracked time. But if you zoom out over here, uh, let's say we want to do like a daily view of this. So you can just open it up for any specific date or time and you can see any co-workers or any employees work or time that they have put in. So this can help you in getting a better view. So let's say I want a weekly view, a listicle view, so to see all the time entries that were entered. Then I also have a daily project breakdown, a weekly project breakdown, and a activity timeline that will help you in managing all of the total time entries that have been entered in your specific workspace. Now, after that, you also have some analytical tools like reports and insights. Now, reports are available on the free version of Toggle Track, but insights are only a premium feature. So you would have to upgrade your plan to get insights into your projects. However, reports are going to give you multiple different analytical overviews. So you can filter it out by a specific team member, a specific client, project, tag, or description. The best part is, is that you can select a project that people have been working on and you can see how much time this project is taking and how much money would this uh, end up costing. So if it's fitting within the revenue or within the budget that you have for that project. So this can be a great tool to manage your day to day expenditure for your business. You can get a summary of your entire work schedule. You can get a detailed report as well as a weekly report. Weekly reports are essential for day-to-day -day tasks that need to be accomplished in your business. Now, moving on to the next section, we have projects, clients, teams, and tags. Now, all of these are basically categorical things that you can add to your time tracker. And what you're going to do in your project, you can click on new project, you know, enter the name of the project. Let's say it's um, marketing for Andy. Then you're going to enter the client name and I will click on create a client. And I will just add Andy as a client. And then you can choose the visibility. I want this to be visible to all of the people in the workspace. And then you have your estimates and billing options, which are premium features that you can add automatically. So whenever time is tracked for marketing for Andy, the um, you know payment summaries can automatically be generated via the estimates and billings that you're going to create from this. So now you can just click on create project and your project will be created. You can also add more details about the project and client by going into the client section. You can click on Andy and you can add more clients if you choose. Now, next up, you have your team. Obviously, you're going to add all of your team members and then your basic tags. Now, you can click on create tag and you can name it whatever you want. So let's say this is going to be brainstorming. So brainstorming is something you will have to do for other businesses or, you know, for your business, but it's not something often people can get time tracking on if they're doing it an application like this. So people can mark that time as brainstorming. So it's easier for you to track time and, you know, it's not that difficult to hold everyone accountable for the hours they have put in. And then the last section is integrations where you can add your calendar, your project manager or any other tool that you're using to make it simpler and easier for you to track time on those specific platforms as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.